Hey, sports card collectors and investors. Thank you for joining me for a double header today. We've got another great video that I'm excited about doing. Um, <clears throat> today we're gonna focus on Kobe Bryant cards, the, the late, great Black Mamba. Um, you know, I, I wanted to go through, I did a video yesterday um, on second year cards that I really liked and he was part of that grouping. Uh, but I wanted to focus in on more of his cards. Um, and of course, I'm gonna go through kind of the, the rookie cards that we had already talked about yesterday, but then also I wanna go through a lot of the metal cards um, that I've been keeping an eye on. I don't own any as of yet, uh, but I'm keeping an eye out on those. Um, I'm always trying to buy low, sell high, but for some reason, whenever I try to get in, it's I'm always too late. I'm always late to the party or I'm just not hitting my price point. So, and, I, and I'm one, I try to stay really disciplined. I don't, I don't typically reach, you know, there's enough inventory out there to where, you know, I'll just, I'll sit tight and, and just kind of hope for that next one to come through. So anyway, today we're going to be talking about the man himself, Kobe Bryant. Um, I'm going to start with that iconic rookie card of his. It's the 1996 Topps Chrome number 138. And this one, and, and we had talked about this, recent pricing has been kind of all over the place. We see sales of $5,100 and kind of in that 5,000 to 5,500 range. There is, a, there is one sale that went recently for $8,499.99. So I'm not sure if that is the new, you know, the new precedent or if that's just kind of an outlier in the pricing. Um, we'll just have to see how that shakes out. but. That is a very, you know, it's kind of that iconic, you know, Kobe rookie. If you don't have five to eight thousand dollars to spend, there's also just the regular tops, the '96 tops PSA 10, which is popular, and it's right in that seventeen hundred to two thousand dollar range. So definitely more affordable, and I mean, it's one of those cards. It's you know, it's the iconic Kobe rookie. You know, he's got other rookies, but. You know, that is the one where if you're trying to really, you know, lock in on kind of his iconic card, that that's going to be the one that, that we're shooting for. Next up, I've got his um, second year card, the 97 Tops Chrome. These are going for anywhere from four to five hundred dollars. There's only 53 PSA 10s, so you're not going to find too many of those out there, um, but just an awesome card. Um, and, and if you're looking again, they've got just a regular top, so 97 tops, but again, not very many of these 69 PSA 10s out there. So obviously people are holding on to those. Um, so not common, but that's one where, you know, if you're a big Kobe fan or you're looking to invest in Kobe, set your eBay search, um, uh, your eBay search for these cards and they'll, they'll send you an email every day if, if they do pop up they'll send you an email and let you know that you know that this card is is on eBay. So um, your saved searches, go to your eBay saved searches and 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 look at, you know, if if you're if Chrome is out of your out of the picture for you, 97 tops and 96 tops Kobe's. Those are the ones to, to set that search for. Um, you know, and those are just, you know, iconic iconic cards. So those are my first couple that I wanted to hit on. I'm gonna hit on, so I'm gonna now turn my focus to metal cards. So, and some of these are his rookie year. I've got a 1996 Kobe Fleer Metal PSA 10, and these were selling um, actually a fair amount of sales right in that 400 to $595 range, and that's as, as recent as the last few days. Uh, pop count for, for PSA 10 is only 366, so there's not you know, tons of them out there, but it's not something where, you know, there's 50 of them and they're barely ever on eBay and you can't find them. And that's more of a price point where maybe if you're, you're trying to get on some rare Kobe's, four to 500 bucks, that, that could be a target for you. Another one, so same exact card, except it's the 96 Kobe Flare Precious Metal. This is the, the variant, this is the more rare one. So there's only 22 PSA 10s in existence for this one. And the price shows that. I mean, the, the recent sale for this one that we saw a few days ago was $2,750. But to me, I mean, man, if there's only 22 of those at 2,700 bucks, if I, you know, I mean, that to me, that seems like good value. If you're going for Kobe and you're looking for that rare, you know, rookie card, um, that precious metal Fleer 96 Kobe, 2750 um, and again there's just not a lot of sales to compare I mean maybe there's that one sale at 2750 maybe there'll be another one at 5,000 who knows but um, I felt like that was pretty good value there 
Next, I've got the 97 Metal Universe Planet Metal number three. And there's only 19 PSA 10s that I'm seeing on the pop report. Uh, recent sale was at $1,424.99. Just a cool looking card, but you know, this kind of piggybacks on those late 90s Jordan cards. You know, and, and if that's gonna be kind of the, those hot sets moving forward. And Kobe, obviously, I mean, he's basically the baby goat, you know, to Michael Jordan. So, I mean, these cards, I feel like you just can't go wrong with them. Um, so I would keep an eye out for them. And, you know, if you can find value in an auction where maybe something like this is hovering under a thousand bucks or it's right at a thousand, eleven hundred dollars, I mean, that, that just seems like good value to me based on the, the pop report. It's a metal card. It's kind of a variant metal card. Um, it should be in high demand, I would assume, for, for years to come. <clears throat> Next, I've got a 96 rookie card for him, Cyber Metal, number five. So again, it's in that metal family. Uh, PSA 10s, and again, look, I mean, they're going from, from anywhere from 338 to $460. PSA 10 pop report is only 74. You know, so this is kind of nice where you've got, you know, a fairly affordable card that's not going to break the bank, and there's 74 of them. So, I mean, if you're, again, like if you're looking for value, to me, this cyber metal card is a, is a nice value. And maybe it's an insert, maybe, you know, some people probably argue with me, it's a, you know, maybe, you know, you'd rather go with a different one, maybe the tops instead. But again, if metal is gonna be that, you know, a hot set moving forward as it has with, with a lot of these Jordan cards, um, you know, to me, that just seems like a pretty good price point, pretty good value. <clears throat> All right, next up I've got the 1998 Metal Universe number 53 PSA 10. And again, kind of in that same price range as the one I just mentioned, the Cyber Metal. It's in that 450 to 550 price range. Uh, there's not, you know, uh, I don't actually have, I don't know if I've got the PSA pop report. I'll take a look at that um, and see if I can get it posted. But, um, but again, I think that this is another one where just a good value for, for that price point. And, you know, it's, it's Kobe, um, you know, and I don't know. I think he's going to have legendary status. He was already a legend, and just the fact that he passed away early, it's just going to add to that. It's certainly not going to take away from it, in my mind. All right, and then last up, I've got a 1999 medal number 115. And this one, um, this is kind of the more affordable option. Um, and again, it's that late 90s metal card. A PSA 10 will set you back only 60 to 100 bucks, so very, very affordable. Um, but there's not loads of them out there. I'm showing a PSA 10 pop at 23. There's also an emerald version of this card that goes for much more, 500 to $700, what I saw a couple of them at, uh, or maybe it was one of them. The pop is three for that one. So, you know, that's a, that, that's a fairly, well, it's a very rare uh, insert as part of that metal set, but I wanted to throw these out there because a lot of people are, I think, trying to figure out how to invest in Kobe and what direction to go, And but I can't afford the Topps Chrome, and I totally get that. So what are the other options if you're not, you know, if you're not gonna go that Topps Chrome route, uh, or even the Topps card is at $1,700 to $2,000, it's an expensive card. So, you know, if you wanna get in on them without, you know, spending that kind of money, you know, then here's a here's some more options for you that that could be that that could be a fit. Um, and Kobe's one of those guys where you know he's a legend of the game. You know, and I think a lot of people are looking at that. You see it across across sports. You know, people are buying up Wayne Gretzky, Grant Wayne Gretzky rookie cards. Michael Jordan cards are on fire because of the documentary, but also because he's the goat in his sport. Tom Brady flying off the shelves. You know, his, his rookie cards. So. People are looking at who are the best of all time, and then, and then second to that, though, you know, who are the Hall of Fame players that have rare cards? You know, so there's just a lot of, um, you know, different opinions coming in, um, and I'd be interested in hearing. I mean, obviously, there's tons of Kobe cards out there, so there's a lot of different options. I try to pick the the metal sets just because I know that those are popular. Those are late '90s sets, so I'm thinking about that's a little bit past me for as far as the nostalgia factor goes. But someone that's a little bit younger than me. Um, you know, and that was their nostalgia time frame. You know, that's when they were kids and collecting and trying to pull those Kobe cards out of those packs. You know, that, that's you guys. That's you guys that, that are looking at this. So, you know, that's where I think that, you know, there's some value there um, in some of these. I, I still believe so, even though I think his cards are priced pretty high uh, compared to, you know, historically where they've been. 
but still, there's always. It seems like there's always value in there somewhere with sports cards. That's what makes it so great. But anyway, let me know what you think of the picks. Uh, thank you again for tuning in and for hanging in there for my double header today. I'm I was so excited. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna get another one going. I want to talk about Kobe cards. So here we go. So anyway, guys, have a great day, and I will see you again soon.